Wait, what? Hold up. Whoa. Time out. Time out on the play. What? Generic intro into that goes Moo here, back with another Doug Day video. Today we are doing the third part of the Twitch chat, and I invaded something with, they invaded space this time, with artificial intelligence. I did these a couple weeks ago, I'm not sure if this one's going to be better than the second one, the second one was amazing, but that was a couple weeks ago, I react to these videos every single week, you want to check out my reaction to it. last week's video, which was the GTA, but you can only drive with psychic powers, I'll leave it right up there, I'll also give a link down below in the description, I really need to make a Doug Doug playlist, but if you definitely want to check Check out the Twitch chat and I invaded like America and Europe and stuff like that. They're definitely on my channel. All you gotta do is like search them, Doug Doug and invaded and Duck Goes Moon. It should pop up. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully I can make it a tiny little better. Hope you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. I'm doing a bunch of great, like just my favorite content I'm ever making right now is watching these creators. I'm doing like, uh, I'm doing two Alpha Red videos a week. I'm doing Jade Animations. I'm doing Game Theory FNAF. I'm doing Dragon Ball Z Bridge, my best friend Kirby. I'm doing JonTron videos. I'm doing Nostalgia Critic videos. I'm just having an absolute blast making these videos right now and I hope that you are enjoying them. Hopefully I'm making your day just a little better because that's what I'm here to do. Also shout out to the patrons. They get the video is there early and allow me to not have a paywall on channel because I'm completely against paywalls because my goal is to make your day better not make money off of making your day better that's just no no just no thank you so much for being here if it's your first time here thank you for giving me a chance hopefully I can live up to your expectations whatever those are I do read every single one of your comments every single one of them and respond to a lot of them as well I'll also be streaming today at 5 p.m. over on twitch playing some scream fortress 2 which is team fortress 2's Halloween event but it's an hour and five minute long video no need to make it any longer let's jump on into it I hope the you have food ready. I hope you're about to start cooking. I like cooking meal prep for the week. That's what I would do. Um, the the maybe you're at the gym and you're own. just watching along. But Earth's people have fractured into two. I don't see New Zealand on that map. Dugtopia and the Empire of Chattern. Today, Chattern. Which one leads their oh, people Lord, to glory? Derek. With the novel AI program, which uses <sighs> novels has been really good, actually. Accurately I definitely check the other ones of these. Outcomes for each empire's decisions. Chat and I both begin with one base on planet. Okay. We'll take turns trying to expand our empire. The solar with the AI system. Deciding all the outcomes. Someone's just gonna claim the universe. Each planetary base you make earns one point. Each special resource earns one what counts as special resource to the 10 points officially wins the soul you system. you now know begin um shattered making the first what it's all goodman's gonna do? come back research nukes research stormtroopers could just nuke dog rock pope. bat we will steal the moon okay space uh, pub oh my god don't 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 <laughs> build wally <laughs> He's like a crash robot. Yeah, I don't, I don't well, know if that's very helpful, uh, man. Build a Death Star. That seems that reasonable. Seems that seems kind like of that's a resource. Turn, but if you want, train a Master Chief soldier. Oh, oh that could be bad. Spartan one hundred and seventeen. Oh. Sorry, I, I, okay, these sorry. are your ten options one, for turn number one. Looks like you're torn between yeah, building Wally, electric people. space pope, and training a Master Chief soldier. Honestly, I think starting with Master Chief is a bold play. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you have a super soldier. Now that humans have invented space travel, have no idea what looks like. Shattered begins their conquest. There's a place somewhere. Channel for Halo videos, me playing through them. Enhanced human soldier called Master Chief. He would be a dude, but he's fucking <laughs> ripped. Has an AI companion named Cortana as a had with shield regeneration technology and a warthog. And he Does would he be have a warthog. So suddenly, <laughs> the Empire tends to build Master Chief. Master Chief fails his training test and is executed. <laughs> <laughs> then he escapes his execution Wait, what? and becomes a fugitive. Oh. The Chattern Empire pursues him across Wait, the Wait, so he's an system. enemy of As them? As a result of being pursued, Master Chief meets up with the rebel group Covenant, which in two Wait, so the humans, novel AI knows about the Hobbit Covenant? One robot. Also, Wait, just so posted on Instagram. People? The Rebel Group has discovered a way to access the Halo Ring. In order to save humanity, they must stop the Empire of Chattern from activating So it the knows Halo what Halo Ring. is. The That's cool. The humans Earth must defeat the forces of the Chattern Empire and prevent them from using the Halo Ring. Okay, so Halo is in this universe, yeah. and also you lost Master Chief. But yeah. you didn't get the Halo Ring. No. No, 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 no. no. Absolutely not. Are you kidding also me? Ring. Master Chief ran away from you because you tried to execute him. Yeah, because he was he bad. Covenant, and they found a way to access the ha the Halo Ring. None of us have the Halo yeah, Ring. Yeah, so okay, that was the Halo Ring. The Halo Ring. <laughs> My turn. I'm trying to <laughs> so debate massive. what would be better. Okay. I was thinking I would go for a resource the Earth? because in the previous battle, go you from guys, Mars. like in the previous round, you guys researched Jupiter. weapons and those got you a ton of value. And so I want to get a weapon, but first I want to get to Mercury so I can develop a weapon and then take the sun. I want the sun. How do you take I the sun? I am going sun? to send a fleet to Mercury. Doug can chat in case you run this. 
There's going to be a lot of Uranus jokes. Yeah, there is. Now there, the humans have invented lot. space travel. The Empire of Dugtopia begins, begins their invasion of the solar system by sending their Starfleet the Mercury. to Mercury. They hope to build the a base and establish a close connection to the sun. So the scientists send out the fleet. But the scientists aboard the it's fleet discover gas. something horrifying. An immense alien city buried deep below the surface of Mercury. Yeah, what ha it would have to be below exists. the surface. It covers more than be hot. half the planet. And after studying the alien city, the scientists realized that the aliens who built the city were incredibly smart and had advanced technology. technology. Wait, is Wait, that... fuck, what are you doing here? The Chatter Wait, how did... also it sends them. its fleet to Mercury, but they do not find any alien Dude, cities or artifacts. Dude, it's so aware. It's like half the planet. <laughs> Your scientists are terrible at this. Instead, they find a huge jungle with strange There's a jungle animals. on... They immediately send a team of explorers into the forest in search of the mysterious city mentioned by the no. Dugtopians. Wait, so the it's Dugtopians like they're working together. They send their Starfleet to Venus, where they find giant volcanoes, few of... So, wait, are you going to get Venus instead of Mercury? back to Mercury. Mercury and try to build a base. Okay, I get five more continues off okay. this. Okay. They soon discover what the planet is covered in lava and can't be used. I mean, base. that sounds but about right. I'm pretty sure the surface of Jupiter is hotter than the surface Venus of the sun. Instead. All right, you know but what? I know, I'm not going to planet. anymore. As the Dugtopians continue their journey through the solar system, they reach Jupiter and the scientists begin exploring the gas giant. They find something amazing. A vast oh, hey, look, Jupiter. network of caves and tunnels. In you know the spot on Jupiter is a storm and it's like six Earths down there. wide? The scientists quickly build a base near the caves. Finally, the Dugtopians are at Mars where they find evidence so he's just getting the entire solar system here thousands of years ago some of the ruins still stand today and there are colonies of Him humans living on Mars Wait, what? these humans make up majority of the Dugtopian population Wait, so he on has Earth, Mars the Chattern Empire has discovered the ruins that the Dugtopians left behind Wait, what? on Mercury Wait, okay. Wait, I have they have ruins on Jupiter in the caves. So uh, that's, Jupiter. that's definitely a new base point there. Do yeah. I have a base on Mars or no? Everybody's saying rigged. Mars. We found civilization. This is an hour long There's video. colonies of Lock humans, up. and the humans are my I empire. Mean. I think I might get Beautiful. Mars, dude. Here's the question. Here's the question. Do we want to set the standard from this point forward? And keep in mind, both of us can benefit from this. That if your empire discovers that your empire already exists on another planet, does that count as a base? Uh, <laughs> I think it should, right? If you maybe. There, I mean, like, I'll make oh, it go faster. Shit. It's like the Spider-Man meme. And we're both looking at each other. You're like, you're Dugtopian too? I'll let, okay, I'll put it to a vote with you guys. And All they're right, going to so say... we're deciding that if they, you do discover oh, a base of yours that exists, yes? apparently that does count, which means I just had a banger opening turn. I yeah. built a base in Jupiter's tunnels, yes. and I found that I already have a base on Mars. And Jupiter Massive is turn. almost enough to be a... Chat, you are now up. Okay, we now know some things about... So does he have Mars? Go to Halo. You have to work your way there. If you get Jupiter, then you can go to Halo next turn. Build a Death Star. Build a Death Star. Recapture your Master Chief. Build a... <laughs> Another Halo ring. <laughs> I guess you can drive. I don't know if you're you can do sun. that. You can't you can only travel up to two planets away. Oh, you so that's Mercury, a roll. Research what about the moon? robotic dogs. I don't understand what helps you, but man, you Doug should you crash the moon train into train Earth and in okay, chat turn. All right, you guys are attempting to train Dune guy. This didn't really work last time, but maybe now it uh, will. I mean, don't kill his bunny. I played the Dune games as well. I think uh, military Dune force. And so the top the Chattern scientists attempt to recruit the legendary Doom guy as part of their army. Doom guy's just a dude. Like the music. He's super ripped and hot, even more so than Master Chief, and he's incredibly good at slaying demons. Yeah, Doom Guy would wipe the floor gun, with Master and he's Chief, right? Immortal. So the Chattern scientists reach out to Doom Guy and attempt to convince him for Tell him we have bunnies. The humans of Earth must defeat the forces of the Chattern Empire and prevent them from using the Halo Ring. In it's the meantime, crazy how many video games the human controlled of YouTube. Covenant and the human controlled humans of that's Earth a, that's must literally work together to stop the Chattern Doug, Empire uh, from activating music. the Halo Ring. All right, it's still on the Halo thing. But before the humans Why? can do anything, the Chattern scientists led by the insane scientist Dr. Halsey. How did a prototype no, version of Master it, I swear. Chief called Spartan 117. Another one? Spartan 117 is a genetically enhanced human that, soldier whose head has been Master transplanted Chief. onto an artificial body. That's Spartan why we don't get a face reveal. Spartan 117 is trained by the humans to be the perfect warrior. And in fact, Spartan 117 does become the perfect warrior. He is warrior. the perfect warrior. Spartan 117 well, is Doom sent guy. to kill the humans. Wait, so they're trying to get Doom guy. Now they're going to get... Spartan 117 ends up joining the humans and fighting the Chatter Empire. Wait, he fights Let's against go, them. Dude. Even your new Master Chief turned against you man oh wow. yeah. they're all I'm saying right how because i had a crazy turn i'm going to allow your insane scientist dr halsey to he... reach out to doom i mean guy they have dr halsey so dr halsey reaches out to doom guy once again again as a reminder we to will allow fight one to two times that you Spartan redirect back to the original prompt but you only get five more continues after this 
Dr. Halsey reaches out to Doom Guy once again. Please join our empire, Doom Guy. Help us defeat the Doom humans Spartan. and Spartan 117. Yep. Doom Guy agrees to help the Oh, there we go. Okay, so, they, yeah. and so the empire Unless he dies. Spartan 117 to kill the humans of Earth. Spartan 117 fails to kill the humans and is captured by the humans. <laughs> I think we let this ride. But now the humans of Earth what? realize that the best way to they defeat the Shattered Empire is to use Spartan, Spartan 117. He was already, yes. they, they were so already the doing that. Build a giant robot called the, the Arbiter. Arbiter. I don't know if that's <laughs> really the Arbiter. <laughs> Genetically enhanced um, human soldier who's been tried to train to fight aliens. Okay? That, so that's not what the Arbiter are, is. But and the humans send the Arbiter to you know, they get the, Spartan they 117. The However, Spartan 117 defeats the Arbiter. So yeah. the humans of Earth decide that the only way to beat the Shattered Empire is to arm a huge and so a human soldier, soldier with a weapon, weapon called, called the Mjolnir, Mjolnir Hammer. Mjolnir. A hammer that allows the wielder to turn into a godlike creature. I think you're fighting against some other faction of humans on Earth. Yeah. You have recruited Master Chief 2. You get two more continues. The get, humans see where this goes. the human-controlled covenant to retrieve the Mjolnir Hammer. Unfortunately, the human-controlled covenant has a history of Kill killing the humans yes, of Earth. Yes, obviously. So they refuse to give it to the humans. Last one, right? But the humans of Earth finally get their hands on the Mjolnir Hammer. The humans of Earth send the Mjolnir Hammer to I, defeat Spartan 117. It, and what, the Hammer. The, the, the Hammer. It's the Mjolnir hammer. Okay, as far as I can tell, you did get Doom Guy. There was a single sentence. Yeah, it joins the ring. Doom Guy, and then it went. Right and then back it goes to the back to Spartan. Doctor Halsey, the insane scientist, is not a special resource. That's not. He's just one of your scientists. Okay. You do now have Doom Guy. Congratulations. You have two points. You've got Doom him guy. plus the base on Earth. Meanwhile, I still have three planets with bases. What I want to do is I want to get to Mercury, and then I'm going to research a whole what? bunch of weapons. What? And I've got what? A plan after that. Powered by the I'm sun. Here we go. I'm up. Yeah, don't now tell. Dugtopia has discovered that they apparently have a base on Mars. It's time apparently. to begin the expansion towards Mercury. So Dugtopia sends out their space fleet and attempts okay. to establish a new base on the Mercurian planet. But the Dugtopians soon discover something horrifying. An Almost. enormous alien city buried deep okay, below the surface Okay, we're still of Mars. on this. No, <laughs> it's hard to believe that this city even exists. It covers it, more than it, half the It's planet. doing the same I thing. I want to go to Mercury. And after studying the alien city, the scientists realize that the aliens who built the city Wait, were Wait, it's the same thing. It's saying the same thing. Technology. It's already said okay, that. this is the same thing. It is. I'm using my redirect and then i get five more continues so dogtopia sends their what? fleet to mercury to establish the base. when the scientists aboard the fleet return to mercury sorry they tell i'll Dugtopia be looking at this for a long time city mm -hmm. beneath the surface the dogtopians send their fleet to explore the ruins and find out what happened to the aliens who once lived there this is on mercury right meanwhile so the Tyler Empire has discovered me in this the ruins that the dogtopians left behind on venus huh Huh? Wait, okay. Now that Dugtopia and Chatter have established bases <laughs> like on Mercury okay. and Mars. Wait, hold on, is that canon? The two empires begin expanding outward. Okay, three more continues. After reaching Mercury, Dugtopia begins exploring Venus. <laughs> Stop leaving. Meanwhile, the Chatter <laughs> Empire continues to expand towards Mercury. In Earth's orbit, the Dugtopians have discovered strange ruins on wait, Mars. Wait, already, I'm sure these well, ruins no, were built by intelligent That's an AI I'm picture. I'm on Mars. Yeah. Two more. But how did they get from Mars to the Earth? Then what? the scientists realize something. The ruins look very similar to the structures found in Mercury. The same aliens. The same aliens Maybe there all. were the a former Dugtopian and Venus, and group. now they're headed for Mars. Okay, last one. They plan to find the ruins mentioned by the Dugtopians. Uh, on Earth, the Dugtopians have discovered a strange oh ruins on Mars. They're sure these ruins were built by intelligent beings, but how did they get They Mars literally just said that. Okay, I'm stuck in a loop. It's I literally think we a death both loop. got a base on Venus, right? Hold on. I'm, I'm lost. The, yeah, <laughs> I. Your guys' story is like moderately coherent, but mine this one's is just, just a like circle bouncing back and forth between Mercury, Venus. Mars, I mean, they're Earth. stuck We're on not Halo. Doing anything of any value? Okay, so this is where I started. Right now, that Dugtopia and Chattern have established bases on Mercury and Mars. Okay, are you guys cool with this? Okay, I'm good with this line because that means I get Mercury, which I really want because now I can go to the Sun. It okay. gives you two bases, which I'm okay with. Because I can now advance onto the sun. Yeah, so but also Mercury, they can so advance onto the sun. There needs to be an unwritten law that says we need to study and probe Uranus <laughs> before invading law. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you gotta you guys, do that, if yeah. You, if anybody takes Uranus, you have to probe it first. Yeah. Go for the sun. Don't establish a colony on the sun before me. That's Recap his idea. Master Chief. Send Rosa the Otter into space? Why? Uh, you can, man. I uh, just started my Pokemon <laughs> White Darth Nuzlocke. I've never played Gen 5 before, and I'm doing a Nuzlocke. I'm streaming on Twitch on Wednesdays, and I picked the Otter and named it Rosa. Research black hole weapon technology. Is that now? These are your 10. What do you want to do? All right. You have strong consensus to try to hire the sun as your new pope. This is your next turn. All of this conflict has been happening on Earth. I think they're but talking about a different Mercury, sun. The Chattern Empire has decided to use its new base to establish a relationship with the sun. The sun. They send their insane scientist, Dr. They Halsey, sent Halsey the to space fleet to make sun. a proposition to the sun. As her space shuttle approaches the sun's orbit, Dr. Halsey shouts out a message from the spaceship's megaphone terminal. Hear me, glorious sun. You are the largest celestial body you should be the one to lead our glorious space religion. space will you join Sound? the Chattern empire as our new space pope? what the sun which is like a giant ball of gas it, replies yeah, with a like? message what do you mean the megaphone like? terminal 
fuck off! <laughs> the Dr. sun. Dr. Halsey was not expecting this response. She immediately makes a wrong turn and crashes oh, into Oh, well, Halsey's dead. <laughs> okay, that's your turn. You're done. Yeah, Don't that's a conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> the sun oh, said okay. that. All right, Doctor Halsey crash landed on Mercury. You can continue that next time. Well, she's it's dead. my turn. Just wait until we make a Dyson sphere to harvest all the energy from the Oh my God, sun. a you Dyson. Try, but once I ally with the sun itself, how do you no how do you ally with energy. the sun? I was gonna send my scientist to try to make a base on the sun, but because of your little shenanigans, I know that the sun is apparently sentient. I'm gonna recruit <laughs> it, it, and I know just the trick. How? I'm gonna tell the sun that its arch nemesis Doom Guy can finally be killed if he joins my. Empire. Don't Why is lie this to the sun? It never forgives. <laughs> can we offer the Pope to Uranus? Uh, you can put whatever you want in Uranus, okay? Uh, oh, Meanwhile, oh. the Dugtopian Yours, Empire not mine. has begun focusing its efforts on its Mercury base. They know that Chattern is attempting to recruit the sun, so they decide to recruit the sun first. They know that with a few well-placed lies, <laughs> they can convince the sun to join the Dugtopians. So, uh, the Dugtopian uh, space fleet uh, sends a ship out to the sun's orbit. To the, the, the sun's orbit. We're, we're all the in the sun's orbit. <laughs> terminal. Hear me, great sun! The Empire of Chattern has Recruited Doom Guy, and if you are careful, yeah. he may destroy you. Instead, could Doom Guy destroy the sun? Empire. Actually, maybe. Empire, Our sun's actually kind of small. The sun hears the Emperor's message and agrees to help the Dugtopian Empire. He tells the Dugtopians that he'll How do you recruit his powers, his powers and turn off his light, light completely. completely. So the Just go at night. welcome him onto Earth and take over the planet. Um, okay, hear, hear me out. What? what I think just happened is, is the that the sun, sun agreed to help me, but did not agree to join. It says help, so I yeah. don't think the sun is part of my empire. I The sun did turn off, Yeah, well, that's that's really bad. We died without that. helped me take over the planet. I think the only outcome of this is that that I destroyed your base on Earth. I don't have the sun. He's just like a good friend of mine. We it's hang out sometimes, but friend. I clearly destroyed your the base. The enemy on Earth. of my okay, enemy is we my have friend. To turn the sun off. <laughs> okay. Score is four. Just go at okay, night. This one's a lot closer. This is what I wanted. I want to win today. I want to win today. Hey, I don't think Venus. he's won a single time. <laughs> okay. Are the planets people now? I guess. I guess the planets are They're like Peggle people. bosses. <laughs> Send Doom Guy to kill the sun. <laughs> research. You'd have to research Dyson Vacuum. I don't. Okay. Hold on. I don't know what the Dyson Vacuum is. It's we'll the it's thing that doesn't have blades. Like a vacuum. Wait, one of those? Oh, Dyson Sphere. <laughs> What's a Dyson Sphere? No, no, no. <laughs> Research Dyson Vacuum. Research Dyson Vacuum Cleaners to suck up the sun. That doesn't even help you. I don't own the, the sun. The sun's already turned Recruit off. Chewbacca. I mean, if you want. Okay. Recruiting people has not worked that great. It hasn't. AI destroying the sun would create a supernova. If the AI thinks so, recruit Darth if Vader. If so. Assassinate Jesus. Like, on Earth? You're not even on Earth. <laughs> Wait, assassinate Mars Jesus? Mars. Mass Master Chief to be the new Space Pope. Yeah, that's oh, fair. Lord. Oh, like Dr. Halsey is the Pope. I thought okay, she crashed. <laughs> is she alive? Do a guy to kill the sun. Why is that 33%? So I'm just imagining the image of Dr. Halsey going there, shouting at the sun, asking the, asking him to be the Pope. The, the sun. sun shouts back, fuck off! And we're like, oh, send and she doom crashes right, into so Mercury like and sends in the doom, doom guy. The Maybe your backup next turn will be there the There were three votes for recruit Chewbacca. Infuriated, Dr. Oh. Halsey and the Chattern Empire seek revenge on the sun in its rude manners. Dr. <laughs> Halsey knows that if they send Doom Guy to so the sun, he'll destroy it with his big fucking gun. They know it will be easy BFG. because the sun recently turned its lights off completely. So Dr. Halsey gives the order. And Doom Guy flies in a spaceship towards the sun, ready to destroy it once and for all. But the humans of Earth have learned what? about the planet. Oh, wait, what? For the right what? moment to He's attack. in a robot. They send a robot called E, -E, -E, -E to sneak Eddie? inside the spaceship and disable the big fucking gun. Oh, okay. okay. When Doom Guy arrives at the sun, he sees that the sun is no longer emitting any visible okay. light. It is now dark and cold. All of the heat from the sun has left its cool, core, cool. leaving it a lifeless ball of gas. Okay, I'm Doom not sure if that's possible, that the but Empire okay. Must have destroyed the sun. And so Doom Guy decides to fly back to Mercury to tell his masters what happened. The humans of Earth send the human-controlled covenant. covenant to the human-controlled covenant. Hammer and use it against Spart no, okay, we're getting back into the Earth thing. No. Wait, did you do it? Wait, I, hold on. Wait. I discovered that random base on Mercury or Venus or wherever that one time. I think by the same logic, you guys discovered that you've destroyed the sun, apparently. All right, wait, sun's what? gone. Sun is off the map. Why are you pogging? What does this what? do for you? Yeah, what? Oh, it was the me. sun's right, gone. Right. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. Okay. I guess I go for Uranus. You guys have been giggling about Uranus all day. The most Just demoralizing thing I can do at this point is, is take Uranus from you. That's right, chat. I'm going to take your precious butthole jokes. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's not make... Holes alone. <laughs> okay, you guys were talking about building Your holes, the my goal. I'm take that from you. Are there any other oh, cool Jesus. space things that I could build? Any ideas for me? Make urinal beads. No. <laughs> no, I'm not putting any beads in Uranus. Jar Jar Binks. I don't want What? Space jar, jar Jar? I've never seen Star okay, Wars, but I know Jar Jar's a joke. I don't want joke. Space Jar Jar Binks, but whenever you guys get 
stupid ass characters. They do a shitload of work for you. Okay, I'm recruiting sure. Jar Jar Binks. Oh no! <clears throat> I mean, the AI should know Jar Jar Binks, right? If it knows Master Chief, it should know Jar Jar. But they know that they require a skilled negotiator and leader in order to convince the gaseous inhabitants of Uranus to join their empire. And so and maybe because it realized that that's on the actual word. Fish guy maybe. Jar Jar Binks, the Emperor of Dugtopia, sets off in his spaceship in search of Jar Jar Binks, hoping to recruit him to Dugtopia. The Emperor knows that if he recruits the Fish Man, the then the Dugtopians will be able to conquer Uranus with ease. Oh, Jar Jar okay. is sitting on a small island in the middle oh, of a Lord. large ocean when he suddenly sees the Dugtopian ships approaching. Okay. He quickly realizes that the Dugtopians have come to recruit him. Hello, Jar Jar, says the Emperor of Dugtopia. We've heard a lot about you. Oh, Please no. join us. What's Jar Jar going to say? Jar Jar is yeah, intrigued by it. the yeah. offer, but he's not sure if joining the Dugtopians is a good idea. After all, the last time he what? allied himself with another group of space aliens, they ended up bombing his home. Who crew. was that? True. Wait, oh, sure is that? Oh, God, is that actually true? I've never seen Star Wars. Jar Jar, says the Emperor of Dugtopia, you won't have to fight anyone. Just follow our fight orders any, to keep your mouth shut. Anymore. That's a lie. Out fine. The Emperor of Dugtopia invites Jar Jar to board the space fleet. However, before Jar Jar boards the ship, he asks the Emperor some questions. What? Okay, don't think about this too much, Jar Jar. What kind of horrible things will Doug D <laughs> Dugtopia do to my people? Nothing. Nothing bad. We'll just take you to the moon and leave you there. You won't even know we exist. Wait, anymore. why are they just taking him to the moon? Point of that? All right, that's got to convince him. And will the Dugtopians use me for experiments? No. 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 In fact, we might kill you and eat your bones. Well, Jar Jar is shocked by this. He doesn't know whether to trust the Dugtopians Why would you trust him after I mean, that? We're making a strong pitch, dude. Finally, the Emperor convinces Jar Jar that joining Dugtopia would be a good idea. He promises Jar Jar that he won't be harmed, and Jar Jar decides to join Dugtopia. Okay, Let's so go. now they have Jar Jar okay, Binks. I got the dumb fish guy. Once he's boarded the space fleet, the Emperor gives him a mission. Go. Huge you can you didn't want like Woo! Obi-Wan or something okay, okay. or Yoda got Jar Jar Binks and we're just gonna dump him on the moon chat you guys are up next Build is that a resource international I think it might be space station probe Uranus okay. are you guys close enough no the, so again you can only travel international so right international now, guys, Doug will be there to too Saturn. create Dyson sphere build base on Saturn blow up the moon you don't have nukes you can research nukes. oh so that's really what nukes. planets if you want or you can try to well Eat a nuke can't blow up a planet I don't it? know how that would get you anything. It'd take a but lot. You can try. Recapture Master Chief Recruit EDE. Oh, yeah, there's a robot in your oh. spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to add him. He would definitely be a special resource. Build the yeah. Death Star. That does fit into your current behavior of destroying. Yeah, the, the new sun will be a Death Star. <laughs> you Mary can try, Sad. man. <laughs> Dude, right, I hope awesome. that wins. Hey, a lot of people want to build the Death Star. I think now you got a taste of the <laughs> They eat the, the rings of Saturn. Saturn. Yells Doom Guy. We have successfully destroyed the sun. We must build off this momentum. We must what? build a gigantic new space The Death Star vessel. and replace the, the sun. The Death Star would be capable single handedly destroying planets and allow our empire to continue its Are they just going to go around destroying? Rolling his planets. And so the top Chattern scientists attempt to build the Death Star. But when the Chattern He's scientists begin already. constructing the Death Star, they fail to account for the size of the planet Mercury. The what? Death Star is far too large and cannot fit inside its own gravity well. Huh? Okay, does it fall apart? Does this work? How does it fall As apart? As a result, the Death Star explodes, killing everyone on Mercury. Wait, wait, wait. am I on Mercury? Yeah, they're, they're on both Mercury? on. Wait, <laughs> they're both on Mercury. <laughs> out. A new Chattern Empire is founded by a new Chattern Emperor. And they decide to build their new space festival based on the design of the original. Wait, Death so they're Star. still going to get we a Death Star? This. Do you but actually build the Death Star? But maybe. the humans of Earth are still pissed off about the events so that transpired music? on Mercury. So they send an assassin named Ghost to kill Ghost the Chattern Emperor. To kill. But Ghost fails to kill the Chattern Empire. And instead, takes his place. Wait, what? Wait, Do so you have Ghost? Who's Ghost? Ghost, Ghost is just is an assassin. Master. Okay, well he's a master of martial arts and he uses these skills to become so they... a powerful Empress. <laughs> so what is the song? The Empire it's like the CS. Go song. During his reign, he suffers from severe delusions of grandeur and invents the evil antimatter. Antimatter. Okay. We're, okay. We're the humans of Earth are pissed and decide to build a. Is that like the most expensive thing Arbiter, on the planet? Who's a genetic antimatter? Man, soldier has been trained to fight aliens, and the humans send the Arbiter to defeat the new Chattern Emperor. Three more continues. Whatever happens at the end of that, that's it. Arbiter defeats the new Chattern Emperor. Oh. Okay, Ghost is dead, but then Ghost he comes face to face with Ghost. Wait, who what? Has Maybe the it's the old one. <laughs> Wait, what? Arbiter falls Hold up. into a Whoa. deep depression. Time out. All of his efforts. Time out. Two what? more. After Ghost impregnates the Empress, she gives birth to twins. One twin is normal and one twin is a clone. A clone of the who? The normal twin is named Arbiter Jr. and the clone is named Arbiter Jr. Arbiter Jr. <laughs> okay, one more. And then we figure out what's been happening. The humans I, of Earth I, send I, the Arbiter Twins to destroy the new Chattern Empire. They send the Arbiter Twins on a mission to destroy the new Chattern Emperor's new Death Star. Unfortunately, the Arbiter Twins my defeat head hurts. the new Chattern Emperor's new Death Star 
are but failed to. I've been no, sitting through all this and like, we're not going to learn what they failed to. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, we're not. Help what, me out here. Yeah, okay, what, they're the all saying rigged. Exploded. Okay. Everybody on Mercury's Break this dead. down for me. You tried building a new Death Star, but that was destroyed by the Arbiter Twins later. An assassin named Ghost married your Emperor, and also or took is the your place, emperor, and then developed an antimatter bomb, and then Ghost gave birth to twins. Okay, I think you get antimatter bombs as a special resource. That's better and than you nukes. Destroyed both bases on Mercury. Is Ghost a, a special resource? <sighs> I guess he kind of could be. It was pretty badass. Wait, but who's the Empress? I thought the Empress was Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, what? <laughs> May I explain why it's clone? Ghost is the Empress. So Ghost impregnated herself, which explains how one of them could be a clone. Yeah. Here, here's um, my ruling. And if you don't like it, you can yell rig. But I think this you is can yell close. rig. You They've been doing that. You destroyed both bases on Mercury, so I lose a point. You gain antimatter bombs. Too. Sorry, yes, evil antimatter bombs. And you gain Ghost as your Empress. You do not gain the Arbiter Twins no. because the humans of Earth sent them to destroy your empire. The Arbiter Twins oh, okay. have betrayed you canonically. Okay, that was a huge turn for you guys. Okay, two new resources for you. Plus minus Mercury one for loses both. both bases. I have. Let's see. Look at score. I have three planets. I've got Earth, Jupiter, and we're splitting Mars right now. And got Jar Jar. at four. You guys have three resources. Oh shit, we're tied four to four. Yeah, wow. it's four okay. to four. Close game. Close game. Meanwhile, I have Jar Jar. What the? Fuck yeah, what is Jar Jar gonna do? Oh, I could get to Uranus. Now they have Jar Jar Binks. He can invade into Uranus. Jar Jar, you must be Stay the out one of there. to probe Uranus. If you probe deep into Uranus, we will discover the secrets that allow our empire to expand there. Me Misa, love oh Uranus. no, they actually. <laughs> Jesus and so Jar Jar Christ. Binks flies oh, off that can only go bad. The planet Uranus. On Earth, the Dugtopians have discovered strange ruins on Mars. Not no, no, yet. okay. Sure Why is it doing that again? Beings, but how did they get from Mars to the Earth? No, wait, the what? what? This is the same thing. It's word for word. The structures found in Mercury. All right, I'm using my redirect. And that's when Jar Jar Binks flew in his ship to probe Uranus. Okay, I get five more continues. After returning from Uranus, Jar Jar Binks up no, meets up with the Dugtopian Emperor again. Did you find wait, anything interesting on Uranus? Asked the Emperor. If you don't mind me asking, what, what did you learn? learn? Okay, four more. Okay. Well, first of all, I learned that Dugtopia is a terrible place to okay. live. Secondly, what? I met a crazy guy named Wait, Doom guy. guy who's trying to destroy oh. the entire universe. Third, I learned that you killed all the <laughs> where did that? Uh, where did that come? Dugtopia is that just Emperor's a Jar Jar thing? What did you say? Exclaims the Emperor. Dinosaur, you mean? Oh, yes, I suppose that was a dinosaur. Well, I guess that makes sense. Two oh, more. Okay. The dinosaurs were a nuisance, weren't they? I'm sorry that I ruined your plans. What is plans? Is there anything else you want to say about pet dinosaur? Yes. Say, I apologize for killing the dinosaurs. Wait, sorry. Never we're making Jar Jar apologize right now, right? The what? Emperor is angry what? and says that he demands a public apology, a public apology. from Jar Jar. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? Asks Jar Jar. I'll have you executed. Jar Jar laughs and says, eh, whatever. Wait, do I get one more or is that Wait, it? Wait, what? I'm doing one more. I have to see if he's executed. The Emperor of Dugtopia uh, is infuriated. Uh, he commands, no, no, no. He commands his troops to execute Jar Jar. Wait, so he's actually about to can shoot. Jar Jar uses his powers to make everyone on Earth forget, forget it. So he loses him. Jar Jar. Wait, wait, was that a successful probe? He did go there and check out Uranus. That's a successful probe. Like he learned about the. So he had the probe. He didn't lose Jar Jar. Before, Everybody on Earth forgot had about him. Invade. But I have Earth. Jupiter and Mars. He's yeah. definitely not working for Dugtopia. No. You literally tried to kill him. We have done things like this in the past where people start betraying each other. That doesn't yeah, mean they're out for some of the reason. Empire. There's no motive. It just does it. Okay, fine. But this sets a precedent. If any of your he own empire five. tries to attack your own people, they're instantly It was five out. to two. Like he's one of the lead like the Pittsburgh Penguins okay. had the he's last two games. Somewhere. I don't know where Jar Jar is, but he's in the system. I do lose him as a resource. You guys are up. What do you want? Blow up Jupiter with the anti-matter bombs. Blow up Earth with the anti-matter no. bombs. No. <laughs> Fine, Jar Jar Binks. No. I'll be so pissed at Jar Jar Binks if he betrays me. The sun Which... is blown up. I don't no. think you can restart the sun. You can't... It's not like a light bulb that went out. It says you destroyed it. Yeah, it's it. off new permanently. Sun. <laughs> Create Build a new star song. three. <laughs> okay, here are your options. Okay, you're deciding to find and recruit Jar Jar Binks. Well, he does, you guys are, even he, though the Death forgot, star wasn't just... fully built, the Empress Ghost looks towards recruiting a new ambassador into their great empire. And they've heard that Jar Jar Binks, the weird fish man and former ambassador fish, for the man. Dugtopian Empire, was recently chased out of the empire and barely escaped with his life. Yeah. So Ghost decides that she will try recruiting Jar Jar to the dark side. So Ghost heads out with their space fleet, hoping to find and pro Jar Jar Binks and recruit him into the Chattern Empire. When Ghost Makes arrives sense. at the planet Zeltro, they Zeltros. see Jar Jar standing upon a cliff above a large city oh. that is burning. There's smoke rising from the city and fireballs exploding from the city walls. Z. Jar Jar turns around and also, waves at Ghost. Another Hello, Z. Ghost, says Jar Jar. Why are you here? I'm looking for Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, replies Jar Jar. You came here to recruit me into the Chattern Empire, didn't you? Yes. Well, good luck with that. But before we can talk about that, I'd love to hear your story. How did you survive being chased oh. by the Dugtopian fleet? Did that happen? I guess I'm chasing Ghost. I guess. Well, I mean, Jar -Jar. well, the, everybody forgot story. about him. Yeah, he was 
news. Come now, Jar Jar. That's not very polite. I really don't have time for a long story. You see, I'm the actually wise. trying to recruit you into the Chattern Empire. So please tell me how you survived the invasion of the Dogtopian fleet. Okay, yeah, what, replies yeah. Jar Jar. Let's start at the beginning. You see, I was, I was at a party, party the night of the invasion. Okay. And this was like very recent, man. And I was invited by some friends to their house. I went to a party at the Dogtopian's home where we oh, were having lots of fun dancing what? and eating delicious Dean. snacks. Oh. Then suddenly the whole city exploded. Oh, okay. It was pretty scary and to watch. Survived? Then I found myself falling down through the air and I landed somewhere in the forest of Zeltros. Oh. I ended up taking shelter under a tree, and then I started to hear noise coming from the ground beneath Wait, my that feet. People? I looked down and saw a huge monster approaching me, and I knew that I had to do something right away or the monster would eat me alive. What, yeah, Whoa, what? replies Ghost. That sounds pretty bad. What in Are the you world? Okay? Yeah, yeah, the I'm lore? Fine. But then the monster started chasing me through a forest. It was really scary, and I Is didn't know Is that a Star Wars do. reference? Suddenly, I don't know. a bunch of strange creatures appeared out of nowhere. What, Whoa, what do you mean? replies Ghost. Anyways, want to join my empire? <laughs> no <laughs> question mark. No thanks. <laughs> thanks, replies Jar Jar. I'm happy we're out Swing there. Right now. What about you? Why are you here? I'm looking for Jar Jar Binks replies ghost. You get four more continues. Okay. Maybe you can turn this around, dude. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You came here to recruit me into the Chattern Empire, didn't, didn't you? you? We got like that. that. But before we can talk I love about to hear your story. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Jar Jar Binks, guys. How did you survive being chased by the Dogtopian fleet? Long, long story. I was at a party in that. Beginning. Okay, we're looping. See, Why is it looping so much invasion. today? I was invited by. Yeah, I think you're caught in a loop. Yeah. You did not recruit nope. Jar Jar Binks. Okay, we gotta add Zeltros. Uh, As a thing. Uh, does anybody know what it looks like? It's a forest. Oh, was a Star Wars planet. It was an astronomical Wait, object in the galaxy's inner rim that had oceans and beaches. Okay, I'll put it near Mars. Put it's near Tahiti. Mars. It's just it there. Kind it's the Tahiti. That's true. Uh, I want to go to Tahiti. I am up. So I successfully probed Uranus with Jar Jar Binks. I feel like I need I need resources. You guys having a bunch of resources always helps you out. I need more stuff. I'm gonna I need research more something. Stuff. You know what? You guys couldn't pull it off, but I can. I'm building a Death Star number three. Your tiny Martian technology couldn't handle the power of a Death Star. A yeah, big they, ass Jupiter can they have Here we go. The Emperor of Tatooine is in. I don't remember what just happened. We gotta build a weapon that ensures our empire will never fall victim to this magic again. And so the empire's top scientists what? try to begin this construction on the Death Star 3, a space vehicle capable of destroying entire planets. Meanwhile, on Mars, Darktopia has discovered the ruin. No, not this again. It wants this so bad. Why? Mars, it doesn't Dugtopia lead anywhere. Discovered the ruins of an ancient civilization again. Yes, yes, yes. They're similar to Mars. Yeah, they're built by the Dugtopians. Yeah, they send their space fleet into Mercury. Mercury. They discover the ruins are inhabited by intelligent alien life. What? Wait, okay, maybe this is it's different. It's a little bit different. The scientists noticed that the aliens are quite friendly and willing to trade. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa. And this is on Mercury? Is... So the Dugtopians decide what? to send a diplomat to negotiate with the aliens. Hey, the Emperor of Dugtopia. But he's not a diplomat. Jar -Jar our base. What? Go to Mercury. Uh, I, I thought the they were supposed to forget Tell about him. I guess planet. not. Ask if them if they'd like to join Dogtopia. Okay, boss. All right, I got Charger back. Charger oh, okay. takes his ship to Mercury and lands near the ruins. I don't know how he this happened hired, from the but, Death Star, okay. but a couple of aliens approach him and introduce themselves as Yoda and Chewbacca. Whoa! Explains Jar Jar. Those Get Yoda too. Crazy names. Yoda and Chewie. Jar Jar's normal. Jar Jar's comment. Hey Jar Jar, why don't you step inside your ship and get out of sight? The Dogtopians are coming for you. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, you the sent Jar them. Jar Jar obeys. He steps into his ship and gets ready to blast off. Suddenly For he notices no that reason. the ship is starting to fly off without him. Wait, oh! He cries. I didn't tell my ship. So to they're leave they're yet. literally he leaving him on Mercury instead of the moon. And runs after it, but the ship is already flying away. Okay, so he's stranded on Mercury with, with Yoda. Yoda Jar -Jar and Chewbacca. To catch up with the ship, but he can't seem to get close enough to grab hold of it. Finally, he catches up to the ship and grabs the side of it. You know, this is some classic Jar Jar shenanigans. What? Right grabbing to the outside of a spaceship? The where he finds Dugtopia's Emperor. He's flying Hello, the ship. Why? Dugtopia's Emperor says Jar Jar. How are you today? Name my name is Dugtopia's Emperor. Okay, so he's holding on to the side of a moving spaceship. Having a conversation through the pilot's window. Yeah. How are you? Charger laughs. I'm fine. Now listen carefully. I need to ask you some questions about Mercury. Mercury. Yeah, what? Sure. They're, go they're ahead. literally Charger flying asked on the a spaceship. Toby, if he knows anything about the ruins on Mercury, they're flying right yeah. now. Right? What? The yeah. The emperor says that he doesn't on know Mercury. much, but he does know that the ruins were made by the Dugtopians. Really? What makes you think that? Asked Jar Jar. Because we dug through the ruins and found a few Dugtopian How skeletons. How do you know that? Look, here's skeleton. one right next to me. Jar Jar laughs. laughs. Sir, are you telling me you're the emperor of Dugtopia? Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're talking about the ruins again. I I think well, I get I, Jar Jar back. The yeah, fact I that think... he called me boss and obeyed oh, my did he commands, call him boss? I think that's oh, okay. a clear sign Jar Jar's back in the Dug Corner. But he didn't Chat, get the Death Star, though. Like next? <laughs> Blow up Mercury. You just want to kill Yoda? <laughs> what?
Why? You guys have focused far more on killing people and killing planets this game. <laughs> Make the sun 2.0. I mean, you could try what? to build How do you sun, build an... I guess. How build do you sun build? Sun 2. If you build Sun 2 successfully, we will say you own it. That would count as, a, I guess, a planet. But you would uh, you would have a base on the planet to start out uh, with. Blow up Saturn. Uh, Recruit Yoda. Recruit yeah, Yoda. That that's, that's a good idea. Seduce Yoda. Yoda. Make Yoda Marry Yoda. Yoda. Space Pope. A lot of good options with Yoda in the middle. Yeah, Make Space Pope. Yoda 2. Why? Okay, these are your base. options. It looks like you are choosing to build Sun oh 2 God. rather than seduce Yoda. <clears throat> Instead of a root yeah, sun, but unfortunately for uh, them, Jar -Jar they killed it and are going to replace it again. Empire. And now Empress Ghost realizes that there are much more important things to be handling. The Empire of Chattern must build a new sun, even more powerful than the first sun, so that Chattern once again uh, more powerful? the largest celestial body in the solar system. And this time, well, they'll it's... make a sun that is very happy and is. nice and sexy. And she doesn't say what about that other planet that's way in the face. distance so that we haven't even like, seen? Mark Rover made a video on it. Is it bigger than the sun? It's it massive, works. I think. This time you must build a sun that is beautiful, powerful, and loving, commands Ghost. But the Chattern scientists disagree. They think they know what the Emperor wants better than he does. Okay, interesting. So uh, they're going to make a mean sun? So they're going to decide mean to build a sun I mean, the last one's pretty mean. And mean. The I have to, I have to look it up. The scientists have been working on the sun for many years. The sun is massive and has thousands of nuclear fission reactors inside of it. Wait, so are you successful? Do you make it? It's also covered with thousands of solar Oh, panels, Planet X. So that's what it's called. to generate millions of watts of electricity. Is this the sun, asks Ghost? Yes, replies the top Chattern scientist. All right, I think you got the sun. We'll let it go one more. Okay, Are you sure? yeah. Yes, answers the top I don't know how big scientist. it is. How did you get the sun to speak? Well, replies the top Chattern scientist. We told it our plans for its future, and it agreed. Congratulations, Wait, so Chad. the, the sun is sentient. Sun the into the, solar the system, sun is 2.0. it's out. ugly and mean this time. It's ugly and mean. <laughs> oh my god, it's Rick and Morty. Sun 2 Planet to the map, and you guys have X control. size. Need sun 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely. Oh, it's only too. ten times I that of Earth. I, I okay, go for Yoda that's nothing. On Mercury, because I think having Yoda would be sweet. Or I go for Zeltros. Having like a Tahiti. mysterious space planet could be sweet. Tourism. You know I can use Jar Jar Binks to go for Zeltros because this is where he's from, maybe, or at least he lived there for a while. Although this is also where I lost vacation. him. No, this is where you talked to him. Whatever. Yeah. Going for Zeltros. Here we go. But that's when the Emperor gave Jar Jar a new mission. He must establish okay, a base on his favorite new planet, planet Zeltros, the planet the of Halo oceans Ring. and Tahiti-based pleasures. Jar Jar <laughs> shouted the Emperor through the literally mid-flight space shuttle window. You must go and establish a base on Zeltros. Do it for Dugtopia, Jar Jar. I'm what? sorry for trying to execute you. That, that, that one, one time. time. So Jar Jar flies off to Zeltros what? where he establishes what? a base. Oh, okay, okay, that's a base. I'll let it go for a bit. Jar Jar is get destroyed. himself in paradise, but then he receives a message from the Emperor of Dugtopia. Dugtopia's Emperor fun. says I'm thinking I'm trying to kill him. Says that he hopes They're going to try to kill him. On Zeltros. Unless I, like, try to kill him or something, I'm good. Okay, Jar Jar time. laughs. I'm having a great time. Thank you. Then he continues laughing. In fact, I'm having so much fun here that I'm thinking of staying on this planet forever. Okay, but I would still get the yeah. The of is a rage. Oh, th <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he, he tried to kill. Yeah, Jar -Jar, we both saw this coming. Either go to Zeltros or die. He's on Zeltros. Jar -Jar he doesn't want to leave. Eh. Whatever. Wait, hold on. Jar Jar is enjoying his stay on Zeltris. He's having a wonderful time surfing and meeting beautiful women. Okay. And then he hears that Dugtopia's emperor is coming to visit. I think okay. we let this play out through their conversation and see if Jar Jar stays in my empire. Yeah. <laughs> Giga Chad. Oh, no, Crash Jar Jar. I've got to get out of here. He grabs oh, a surfboard and heads the to the surfboard. beach. But when he arrives, he sees that the emperor's landed on the beach with a boat full of Dugtopia. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right. Awkward. Hey, Jar Jar, come aboard my boat. Let's have dinner Let's together. Have dinner? No, no, no mm. thank you, says Jar Jar. I really don't feel feel like being eaten by a carnivorous <laughs> Dugtopian type. Let's give it three more. The uh, Emperor uh, orders the Dugtopians to kill Jar Jar. Again. Why? Do you know who I am? Asked Jar Jar. I am Jar Jar Binks, the Emperor of Dugtopia's but, most but trusted you told, friend. You, you laughed at him when he threatened you with me. death. Actually, we're going to eat you alive, and then we'll wear your body. We'll, oh, uh, and then we'll skin your body and wear it as a suit of clothes. Jar Jar laughs. One more. He's a fish. All right, have it your way. The Emperor says, what well, mean, that's have what it you your want. Way. Then I guess we'll have to do it your way. Jar Jar climbs on the emperor's boat. Oh, okay, thank so you. We he didn't kill him. Kill okay. And wear him. And he one has Zeltros. They clearly made up. He got yes. on the boat. Fine. This one time, I will extend it by one turn. But Jar Jar and I are friends now. I will prove yeah. it to you. They're going to get on the boat. It's, They're going to have a party. Mm, then the emperor gives Jar Jar a big, big hug. hug. There Let's we go. go. Big thank hug. You for agreeing to come big to hug. Like, to see just, me. Jar Jar laughs. Mm, he was not just the emperor. Mm. Hugs Jar Jar again and says, I have a special gift for you. 
A special gift. Okay, the special gift might be a gun. Yeah. We're gonna call it there. I think they're gun? both friends now, and I get Zeltros. Congratulations, me. All right, chat. You guys are gun? up. Gun. Crash the sun into Zeltros. Crash the <laughs> sun. The gift was. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it could be steal Jar Jar's oh, gift from no. the Oh no. You can do that. And whatever the gift is, it'd be a special resource. Eat Jar Jar. What if it's literally I mean, just you could send Doom nothing. Guy to kill him to kill and eat Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> steal Jar Jar skin. Meth. Okay, here are your options. I can't believe you're gonna die to steal the gift. gift. Okay, you are choosing to steal Jar Jar's Dude, gift from the chat. Emperor. Hold on, what are the rules about the gift and whether it counts as a special resource? Wait, okay, we could just play it by ear, and if it seems special, then it's a special resource. Oh, or if we it could seems say special, it's absolutely a special resource. But if you don't steal it, that means uh, I get to oh. find out what it is, and it's my resource. This is maybe the first espionage mission of the AI invasion. I think series. it might be. Maybe you can get in there, steal well, the gift, and get out. Chat intentional. is not good at stealth. Well. Doom guy's great at stealth. Meanwhile, on the planet Zeltros, the Rip Toby and Emperor's tear at stealth? Gift, gift to Jar Jar Banks, and Chattern wants that gift more than anything in the world. Because the Chattern Empire has built a weak, ugly, <laughs> mean new sun and named it Sun Tzu, they now have oh, the infinite Lord. supply of nuclear energy necessary to finally Hard attack Jar Jar Banks and what? steal the gift that the Emperor is planning to give to him. So, Doom guy gets in his spaceship and travels to Zeltros. And watch him make a base on Zeltros. Special gift. When Doom guy arrives at Zeltros, he discovers that the Emperor has already given Jar Jar Banks the special gift, which is also, a giant bag of money. Like Doom guy tries because to stop that, but the Emperor this video is not going to perform well because it's so long. YouTube won't push it. But if you like it, that'll help Eventually, counteract that. To shoot Doom guy down. I don't usually so ask for likes, but it's just kind of like a long they video thing. Back, and so the Dugtopians decide to give the bag of money to their greatest leader, General Grievous. Wait, I got General Grievous? General Grievous and his troops are marching through the streets of Zeltros when they stumble across a group of Dugtopians who are in the middle of robbing a bank. The Dugtopians are surprised to see the Dugtopians stealing from them. I mean, if you're robbing the bank to donate for Rose. Them, they screams? decide to join forces with Worth the Dugtopians it. and steal the Don't money that, back Doc. from the Dugtopians. The battle between the Dugtopians and the Chattern Empire rages through the streets of Zeltros, causing much destruction. Okay. I think we're fighting Doom Guy then. And what should we what? do? Ask one Dugtopian to another. Should we go after them or wait for them to come back? Wait, replies the other Dugtopian. I think there's a civil war going on in Zeltros. I, I think. Okay, I will give you another. Either Doom Guy goes for the bag of money and tries to steal <laughs> it from Grievous, or he joins the civil war and tries to get the Dugtopians to kill each other. What do you want? Okay, you want to join the Civil War. Join the Suddenly, Civil War. Suddenly, Doom Guy bursts into the room. He knows the only way to take down Zeltros is to join the Civil okay. War and try to destroy Sorry, the Zeltros base from the inside. Sorry, it's 12.02 a.m. This is a you can at least yeah, take down my base time. in the process. I got my got windows up because it's hot in Let's kill is every single video chatter today. military officer we find until we reach the Emperor himself. Good idea, replies the other Dugtopian. Oh, shit, dude. Doom Guy's betraying you. But I'm not sure if it'll work. Most of the officers are wearing suits of armor. Don't worry, suits replies of armor. Doom Guy. They're easy to eh. take down. Okay, let's see what he actually does, though. Maybe he's lying to the Dugtopian to get them to think he's on their side. Okay, says the other Dugtopian. Let's go kill some Chatterds. On Mars, the Dugtopians have completed uh, their new okay. sun and they're going to test it. Oh, the Dugtopians wait. Dugtopians have built a giant wait, mirror so in front of the sun that can reflect the light wait, from what? the new sun. But now they're ready to fire wait, the first beam so of light from the new sun. Wait, the Dugtopians this, fire this the is beam of light Chat's and turn. destroys all the Chattered ships that are nearby. Holy shit. Wait, and Doug now has a sun and a sun weapon. Time for me. The Dugtopians fire the beam of light over a hundred times and they continue firing their deadly beam of light until they're certain that the new sun is as powerful oh, oh, as they well, need it. Oh, Oh, okay, Holy now they're shit, all saying rigged. How can they even be rigged? I got General Grievous, I got money, and I got a new son. That's, That's eight huge. points. Oh, man. Is it There's still like 20 minutes turn? left in this okay, video. Let's say, let's say the money is gone yeah, 25 because it minutes. was spent on General Grievous, but I get Grievous, and we get the new son. <laughs> this solar system is a fucking mess. I have it makes Earth, no sense. Jupiter, Mars, Zeltros, and Sun 3, plus Jar Jar Binks and What about Grievous. the sun I'm weapon? Seven. I mean, he has a sun resources. weapon, I guess. Doom Guy, Empress Ghost, Evil Antimatter Bombs. I give me the sun got base. a base on Mars, and you own Sun 2. I'm not trusting you for an instant. I know what's going to happen if I start being nice. Okay. Yeah, no, no, he'll like, lose. All right, chat. Come on, you, you little rascals. I'll, I'll give you Halsey. And then next turn, you're going to kill Jar Jar Binks. You're going to steal Grievous, and you're going to blow up Earth. Yeah, okay? probably. What's going to happen is what happened last time. We're not doing that. I'm going to win one of these. I got to win. Well, yeah, I, I hope he does. I got General Grievous. And this may now sound like Doug's a stupid term. idea, but I can he could use win this General turn, Grievous actually. to kidnap Yoda at Mercury and keep him as a special resource. Okay. The special gift turned out to be a big bag of money that the Emperor gave to General Grievous as a bribe to join the Dugtopian Empire. Okay, so that works. Emperor I guess that counts General as a special Grievous resource. New mission. You must travel to Mercury and kidnap the Jedi Master Yoda, the Emperor exclaims. How does that go in the actual movie? Take Saturn. Wait, movies. no, no. Uranus. 
Nobody wants Saturn. The Emperor explains that the, the Dugtopians believe that Yoda is actually the Emperor of Dugtopia. He tells Grievous that the Emperor needs to steal Yoda from Mercury in order to prove to the Dugtopians that he is not the real Emperor. Sounds simple, says well, General Grievous. Uh, Don't worry, uh, replies the Emperor. I'll give you a ship. You can and use that. A ship what and kind money. Of ship and, is it? Yeah. A spaceship. It's the same ship that you stole from the Dugtopians. General Grievous Wait, hesitates. What? Uh, okay. The Emperor yeah, hands um, over okay, the ship. General Grievous about right. flies off into space. On Mercury, Yoda mm. has been living peacefully on his planet for many years. Many years. Isn't Yoda on like hundreds training? of years? Old. content to live out his days like, on his peaceful planet. Nine hundred years old or something. He lives alone except for like, for his pet Groot, an old I'm tree Groot? stump, and his pet Wookie, a big hairy dog. True. One day, General Grievous okay. arrives on Mercury with his ship. He walks up to Yoda and introduces himself he just as Grievous. Introduces Hello him. there, General Grievous, says Yoda. What and brings Yoda you all goes, the way out here? I need to kidnap Yoda, says Grievous. Way to keep it subtle. Yoda laughs. Why would you want to kidnap me? Grievous says because you're, the like, Emperor really of Dugtopia thinks that you are the real Emperor. Well, you can tell him that I'm not the real Emperor, says Yoda. Yeah, 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 whatever, says Grievous. Just do it. Okay, this is my last one. I need to kidnap him right now. Come on, Grievous. Yoda says, okay, I will. Yoda takes Wait, out what? his lightsaber and points it at Grievous. Let's see how good you are with this. This thing shouts Yoda. We well, gotta continue. This, yeah, right? you have because to. Either I kidnap Yoda, or I get a point, he loses or he Grievous. Or murders Grievous, and I lose a point. Okay, we're going five. Would Yoda five beat more. Grievous? And he slices Grievous in half. Jesus Christ! As oh, soon as he's dead, okay. Yoda begins to laugh. Ha ha ha! He laughs. I killed the Emperor of Time. No, you didn't. No, now wait. Everyone wait. knows that I am the true. That's Emperor. not how that works. Okay. What? Grievous is dead. Is Yoda? Is Yoda? Is he like rebelling against I, my what? empire? What? He's just there. Like, he's living we'll peacefully. Say Yoda's off doing his own thing. Yeah, he literally is. God, I should have stopped it right here. Here, okay. I well, he has enough. But I think it'll be easier for me to recruit Yoda. Because Yoda thinks he's my emperor. Chat, That's you are true. a recruit Groot. Recruit <laughs> Groot, no. <laughs> Mercury. Why? Water on Sun 3. Yoda isn't a point for me. You don't have to kill him. Blow I mean, up you Yoda? You could recruit him. You blow up all of Mercury. But then I guess you lose the chance to get Groot. Run Sun Tzu into to Sun, Sun 3. 3. Who would you send to seduce Yoda? Seems like Ghost. Send Ghost, ghost to seduce yoda tell sun three to fuck off wait you uh, mean yeah like fly up to sun 3 and just yell and at it, it to fuck off. what's Build your sun name 4. i mean you can the map is, is kind of getting you? a little full of suns you are going to fly to sun three and tell <laughs> it to fuck off meanwhile <laughs> what is that going to accomplish that's not going to get a point built a new sun sun three the watches Dr. get some like jupiter or something the time that the original sun told her people also, to where's fuck Pluto off. On this? so she boards into Pluto her spaceship and travels to sun three's she then takes a deep breath and bellows into the spaceship's megaphone terminal. Hey, Sun 3! Fuck off! And then she gives Sun 3 the middle finger! And so the Dugtopians okay, soon discover that Sun 3 is no longer in their control. Wait, what? Soon after what? the Dugtopians send the fleet of spaceships to Zeltros and the Emperor's Emperor surrender their stolen gift back to them. How the fuck did that get you, Sun 3? Or wait, did you get it or did it, I lose it? I think he I think lost it. I just lost it. I think you insulted it so hard that it, it like, left. Okay. Okay. Sun three is just a neutral sun now. There's a lot of deep I, sun lore been going on. Yeah. For point. now, there's three the suns. I want to go to or, Mercury and try to recruit Yoda as my new emperor. He even called himself my new emperor. Yeah. The problem is and if I thinks... send Jar Jar Banks, he might kill him. He already murdered Grievous. I feel like I'm risking Jar Jar's life if I send him to well, Yoda. Well, I mean, Yoda already thinks. Try. I have to try. Now that Yoda has murdered General Grievous and falsely claimed himself falsely emperor, claimed. the Utopians realize that they must recruit him as the official emperor okay. of their this empire. Okay. This could. I think this could work might well. Join the chatter instead so the dugtopian said these best things pit like to jar jar big to mercury to convince yoda to officially join dugtopia as their new emperor jar jar lands on mercury and approaches yoda hello yoda he says i'm jar jar binks jar jar bows before yoda good start please call me yoda says yoda he already did jar jar laughs <laughs> sorry yoda i couldn't resist yoda says did you bring me something jar jar nods yes he takes out a bag of money and hands oh? it to yoda okay so wait jar -Jar so you have to pay him to wow, be yoda, your this emperor is a shitload of money jar jar shrugs the emperor of dugtopia wanted me to give you this. Well, thank you very much. Okay, Jar Jar's actually being a good ambassador yeah, for once. Yeah, Jar Jar's not that. Jar -Jar trying to kill again. or then Yoda asked, the How rebelling. Did you know that I was the real emperor. Jar Jar Bribery. was confused. Well, because the emperor of Dugtopia told me that you were the real emperror. Sign something. Make it official. Yeah. Yoda laughs. Oh, that. That was just a joke. Wait, Jar Jar shakes his head. No, it wasn't. The emperor of Dugtopia really thought that I was the real emperor. Huh? Well, he's Wait, crazy, Jar the emperor? Yoda. I never said that I was the real emperror. Yeah, did. I'm just a well, Jedi you, and then you who lives on Mercury. I was just half. joking when I said that you were the real emperor. Jar Jar laughs. I thought you knew that I was the real emperor. The emperor of Dugtopia said that I was the real Does emperor. Does nobody want Yoda. it? Oh, he 
we did, huh? Well, that's strange because I didn't say that you were the real emperor. I just said that you looked like the oh real emperor. Oh my god. That doesn't mean anything. Jar Jar is shocked by Yoda's response. Can I redirect or am I stuck with Jar Jar Binks as my emperor? I'm gonna uh, that go would two be more awful. and see what happens. But Yoda, the emperor of Dugtopia, gave I, it, me this bag of money as a bribe to come here wait, and so yeah, to who, Dugtopia as their emperor. Did he, it yes, was like in the mirror, just like, here's money. Asked Yoda, here's your bribe? budget for Jar Jar today. shows him the bag of money. Hmm, well, I suppose you could say that he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Jar Jar laughs. Wait. Sign a treaty. Join. Yeah, that, that was funny, Yoda. Yoda continues laughing, but Jar Jar is becoming frustrated. What in the world Listen, is Yoda, going on? If you're not going to help us, then I'm leaving. All right, close it out, Jar Jar. Close They're this both out. on oh, five please, points. Go, says Yoda. I'm sorry about all this confusion. I really didn't think anyone would ever believe me when I said that I'm not the real emperor of Dugtopia. So you are? Yoda what? turns to his pet Groot. Groot, pet Groot. do you have any idea why this Jar Jar Binks thinks that I'm this... the real emperor? I don't know, says Groot. Wait, Groot Can said I something other than I'm Groot. I'm redirect. You guys got to redirect Doom guy into starting a civil war. This is my this Fair. is my redirect. Jar Jar Bing says, Groot, will you officially join as our new emperor? No. No. I already have a job. I'm a plant. I'm a pl <laughs> Jar Jar signs. It's a full-time job. Okay, then. Jar Jar leaves Mercury. The Dugtopian Empire offers a large reward to anyone who can find the real mm -hmm. emperor of Dugtopia. So we have like three people who are claiming to be emperor. But then also people times. that don't, don't want to be Yoda, emerald. Groot shut me emperors. down hard. He didn't even entertain it for a second. What do you want to do? Eat the rings of Saturn. Blow up Mercury with anti-matter bombs. Again, okay. that won't help you if you do that. Make <laughs> Sun Tzu... Wait, do you want to make Sun 3 the Pope? Or Sun do you want to crash the Pope. Sun Tzu into, into Sun. Mercury? If we get Sun Tzu, he can write the Art of War. The Art of War. Or you can have Sun Tzu build <laughs> I get the that Art right. of War. And that could build. be a special resource. <laughs> it's the book Art Earth. of War, right? Um, send anti-matter bombs to Earth. Find the real Dugtopian Emperor and claim the reward. Marry the sun. <laughs> Tell Yoda to fuck off. Okay, you're gonna try to find the real Dugtopian Emperor and claim what? the reward. Okay, it's how are you gonna tie minutes. those stories way together? Way backtracking in this in, in this one that we've done before. Yes. With the great and he has set that ten complete. points. The Chattern Empire now sets their sights on a new goal. They have heard that the Dugtopian Empire cannot find their Emperor, and whoever finds the Emperor first will be given a large reward. Yeah. So, Empress Ghost sets out to and find probably the marries real Emperor of Dugtopia the real and claim emperor. the large reward. And then reward. that means they're gonna. Can't imagine ghost. this actually works. Good luck. But the Chattern Empire will have to travel across the solar system to reach the Emperor. The Dugtopians will have to cross the plan, asteroid belt, which contains thousands of asteroids and rocks orbiting the sun. And so the Dugtopians yeah. begin the long journey across the solar system to reach the Dugtopia Emperor. But the Dugtopians are surprised to discover that the Dugtopia Empire has captured the Dugtopia Emperor and is keeping him prisoner on Mars. On Mars. Okay? okay. Are you guys involved with this still? The Dugtopians I, now must so this is the Dugtopian Dugtopia turn. Emperor from the Dugtopian Empire. The Dugtopian Empire is pleased to report that they have successfully Captain. captured the Emperor, and now the Dugtopians plan to return him to his home planet of Earth. Okay, do you guys want to redirect? redirect yeah, probably reroll. Try to go capture the Emperor again, I guess, and get the and reward. Get the okay, reward. We're redirect. So I'm redirecting where it went off back to the original goal. But the Chattern Empire still wants the large reward, so they head to Earth and attempt to rescue the real Dugtopian Emperor and claim the reward. Let's see if it goes for it. I've the seen Chattern train Empire wrecks that were more the together. Real of Dugtopia, and they bring him back to their spa <laughs> space. Wow, was well, that After a the sneeze? Chattern Empire returns with the real Emperor of Dugtopia, the Dugtopian Empire is furious and they <laughs> demand the reward. Okay. No, replies. <laughs> okay. You don't deserve the reward. Okay. You lied about your intentions and you stole the gift from me without permission. I want nothing to do with you. But we helped Understandable. Earth, Have a good day. The Emperor. Wait, huh? We showed you how to build a new sun and you used that knowledge to destroy the planet. Replies oh, the Emperor yeah. of Dugtopia. You tricked me. It wasn't like that, replies the Chattern Emperor. It wasn't Emperor. like that. More. We wanted Just to help you. you. Really? Then why didn't you tell me about the fuck off plan? Oh, he remembers. Dugtopia? The Chattern Empire has realized that the fuck off plan was a terrible That's a idea great from the name. beginning. And so they decide not to fight the Dugtopia. Dugtopians anymore. Instead, they promise to stay away from so Earth there's forever. A treaty? The Dugtopians promise to never ever try to steal the gift again. Okay. The Dugtopians and Chattered Empire both agree to forget everything that happened in Wait, the past. Wait, so now, now they're friends. Now everyone can just move on with their so lives. So nobody wins. And so the Earth is safe. The Dugtopian Empire has conquered the solar system and oh. humanity is free Wait, is to that... explore the stars. And Jar Jar Binks has finally found Wait, peace in this New was Dugtopia Chat's where he turn. continues to live happily. Okay. I did not conquer the solar system. We'll Aww. leave it at so the Earth is safe. Unfortunately, Chat, you did not get a large reward for kidnapping the Dugtopian Emperor. No. You do have him, I think. I think you have him on Mars. I am going to finally go for Uranus. Uranus. Because he probed it first. This is my coup de gras. Once I coup de finally gras. take Uranus. Unfortunately, the real Emperor of Dugtopia is stolen by the Chattern Empire. Okay. And so they decide well, to there's give like up on three that whole of them. situation. There's something so more does, does, right does Chattern, Chattern, like, Chattern like actually Anus. recognize one That's of them right. as the finally actual one? Establish a base on Uranus. So Dugtopia sends out a space I'd be insulted if I was one of the other two that didn't get captured. Come on, give this to me. 
The and I'm gonna face time from Young Biscuit. also sent out Biscuit. space fleet and scientists in hopes of establishing a base on Uranus. Both races are completely unaware that the human race has already established a base wait, on Uranus. Wait, that what, doesn't what, make sense. What, so the humans on humans. Earth have been waiting for the oh. opportunity to colonize Uranus for quite some time. And now they've finally achieved their goal. They are now the proud owners of your anus. The oh, humans on Earth mine? have a space fleet of scientists and a colony on Uranus. Okay, so there's a third faction. We the humans, going. which Most they were fighting from Earth. the, the Chattern on Earth, right? are different from the humans on Earth. These humans are known as Dugtopians oh, since wait. they were born on Dugtopia. One wait, day, what, the Dugtopians send an envoy, Jar Jar Binks, so to negotiate wait, whoa, with whoa. the Chattern Empire on Uranus. Why? I am Jar Jar Binks, says Jar Jar to the Chattern Thanks. Empire. Do you want to sell Uranus to Dugtopia? But that, that, the that, Chattern that Empire responds, it. we'll sell it to you for $10 billion. Wait, you That's guys it? have it? Jar Jar Binks, this is That's too it? expensive. $10 billion? It's a lot of money. Why are you selling it for such a high price? Because we want to use it for a toilet, of course. True. Replies the Chattern Empire. Oh, what? Asked Jar Jar. It's a toilet, explains the Chattern Empire. We're going to put a toilet on Uranus. Just one, just one, and all have to share it. I love it, but unfortunately, I cannot afford to buy your planet. For $10 billion. That'd be a very expensive toilet. You don't want to buy our planet for $10 billion because you can't afford it? But what if I change the price to $100 billion? Wait. Jar Jar laughs again. $100 billion? You're crazy. No, no, no. Not crazy, says the Chattern Empire. That sounds pretty crazy. If you bought my planet for $100 billion, I would even let you name it whatever you want. Your anus is perfect name already. Are you trying to tell me that you're willing to change the price of the planet to anything I ask? Ask for something lower, Jar Jar, please. Yes, of course, yeah. replies the Chatter Empire. Uh, mm. I would be happy to change the price to whatever you want. Jar Jar uh, laughs. That's great. What now currency is this? What do you suggest? Is there like Chattern a Empire solar system and he says, currency? How about we make the price one trillion dollars? Jar Jar Now we're going to look crazy. Great idea. Let's do it. Does it happen? Very well, says the Chatter Empire. Here's my check. And he a check? <laughs> Jar Jar I check for one trillion. For one trillion dollars. Jar Jar Binks leaves the room with a check. Okay, okay. You Jay Powell with the money nervous, printer. But I have one trillion dollars. Great job, Jar Jar. Oh, okay. What a fucking conversation. You guys are up. I'm seeing uh, a lot of people who okay. want to put a toilet on Uranus. Why? <laughs> That'll be. It. <laughs> I can't believe. Would that, that be a special all resource? This, it's turning into one giant toilet joke. Put a giant toilet on, on Uranus. That's That'll probably gonna a win. Special resource point if you do it. Play pack the with check. Yoda. Rename it to our anus. I'll let you just do that as a general thing. Kill Jar Jar before he cashes the check. I don't think you should build a giant toilet, but that's funny. Do you think this story might have jumped the shark no. at some point nah, along no. the way? No, no, I understood all that. Yeah, some absolutely. Point, somebody's gonna take control of Halo. Also, that's a that, Monterey Bay aquarium giant toilet bottle. Chet, you are up. Meanwhile, the Chattern Empire has successfully established a base on Uranus after convincing Jar Jar Binks to leave the planet with $1 trillion. Now that the prized planet of Uranus is finally under their control, Chattern can move okay. forward with their plan to use the planet as a gigantic toilet. Okay. They rename the planet to Arhanus, <sighs> and then the top Chattern scientists begin the construction of a monstrously large what does toilet that... on the surface of our anus. What does Why that... are we building a huge toilet on Uranus? Uh, that's a good question. Jar -Jar Why? Binks. Because we need to cover up the fact that we're polluting Earth. Wait, so <laughs> you can't even... Top Chattern scientists. This, True. So if we put a giant toilet on Uranus, okay. nobody will notice. While the Chattern Empire so is somebody has to have a massive turn soon Uranus, because an alien ship approaches Earth. Ten minutes the left or twelve minutes left. And is sent by the Dugtopian Emperor to deliver a message. The Dugtopian Emperor asks the alien ship to land on Earth and give him the gift that he has been saving for the Dugtopian Emperor. The Dugtopian Emperor tells the alien ship to wait in orbit what around Earth until he can meet with the alien ship, and he will give the alien ship the. How gift many times have I heard ship in the last minute? Earth, but the Dugtopian Emperor is unable to make contact with the alien ship and so he sends his army to investigate We're i didn't say ship in that Back sentence on uranus Sorry. Back on our <laughs> anus, the top Chattern scientists resume construction Ouch. of the mega toilet. The scientists are thrilled to be working on such an interesting project. They That's are also eager a word. to test their new technology, yeah. which allows the mega toilet to clean itself using nanobots. nanobots. Okay, the Alexander are so Anderson. That they accidentally inject their own bodies with nanobots, and so That'd they be become fun. super intelligent. What was, there was robots. a movie they about that, right? The Chatronomicon. Was it? <laughs> so Cody the Banks. The Chatronomicon discovers that their new technology can be used to build other things besides. Toilets. Oh, like what? Three more. So the scientists decide to use the technology to build a giant mm. robot suit. Is that a suit. special and resource? So the top chattern scientists begin making their new mega, mega robot, robot suit. suit. The scientists are excited to see what this new invention can do for them. You got two I... more turns. You can still build the toilet, maybe. One maybe? Day, the top scientists are sitting around in the lab playing checkers Ooh. when they are interrupted by, by a loud bang. banging. They're playing checkers. Why are they in the lab playing checkers? The scientist looks out the window and sees a 
Nice. I just started playing Half Life, so that would make sense. Let's stream it. Last one. It seems Supposed like to be on Saturdays, but That's not these. Not the next two Saturdays. Next Saturday, I'll be at. Maybe it's aliens. Or twelfth, thirteenth, will be at the Fortnite Invitational in Raleigh. One more. We got to see what it is. Can't be a meteorite, replies the first scientist. There aren't any meteorites falling from the sky. That means it must be an alien spacecraft. So the scientists quickly gather their equipment and rush outside to examine the strange object that's now hovering above Earth. They're well, on our okay. okay. Nobody went for the moon. Over. Uh, what happened? You got the chat Ronomicon, which are okay. super intelligent scientist robots. Yes. You also built a new mega robot. And also, you're at eight points. You could potentially win the game and by building a giant toilet on Uranus. How that would that? Suck. How also, would that, something that I just oh, noticed, that'd be which is base. funny, of all the insane shit that's been happening, nobody's yeah. even mentioned the moon. What? <laughs> I just moon, said dude. that. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I am going to go for the Halo ring. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find Master Chief. He, he's hanging out with the Covenant up here. The Covenant's oh, like four people, remember? And then we'll go like for the Halo people. ring. If I pick up that super weapon before you guys can, I could destroy the entire universe, which is a draw, which means you won't <laughs> win. Draw. You might not be able to win today, but I will take you down with me, chat. That's Our mega one robot will defend us. All right. Really? Here we go. With From this new a Halo money, ring? The fake Dugtopia nah. Emperor now has the financial resources to go for the Halo Ring. The Halo Ring is a massive space structure that can fire a massive yeah. energy release and destroy all life on a planet in the solar uh, system. Well, and probably the all of them. Know that if the Halo Ring comes into their power, they could annihilate all life. So haven't they added Forge so the to Halo Infinite Dictopia yet? the Emperor sends out Jar Jar Binks, his finest ambassador, to recruit Master Chief into the Topian Empire. Master Chief is a super soldier from Earth who is currently yeah. traveling in space near the Halo Ring. That's a big info dump. Does it actually turn that into Hopefully. some stuff? Hopefully. Maybe. Or is it going to be... We found ruins on Wait, Master Chief no Mars. Get, Master Chief knows that the Dugtopians are lying. They're not actually interested in helping mankind. They just want to use the Halo Ring to destroy all life on Earth. But they're on Earth. No, no, no. That's I a lie. Earth. Earth is fine. The Master Chief doesn't care. He needs the money, the money to, save to save his girlfriend's, girlfriend's life. Master Chief has a girlfriend, Jar but it's not a TV show. Him, Hi, I'm Jar Jar Binks. Wait, has it has it happened? Do I have him? Master Chief looks at Jar Jar and says, I know you're the Emperor of Dugtopia. Oh, so Jar Jar yeah, I is. I am. I guess. I'm looking for someone to join the Dugtopian uh, okay, Empire. Okay, and you're wait, looking for... Jar wait, Master Chief is saying this? Wait, Would you what? like to join? Master Chief doesn't respond. Okay, so he's not in right now. Okay. Jar Jar continues. I'm offering you the job of the Emperor of Dugtopia. Before Wh I can appoint you to that position, I need to see some proof that you're really Wait, so Jar Jar is about to give up emperor position proof, to Master, Master Chief. It's a requirement of the Dugtopian Empire. We must see proof that you're qualified for the job. I love Jar Jar. He's Ooh. turned into my greatest. What kind of proof do you need to see? Ask Jar Jar Master just Chief. got well, added to this. Jar Jar, there's Oops, only one all way emperors. Prove that you're worthy of being the emperor of Dugtopia, and that is to defeat me in a game of chess. Jar Jar is excellent at chess. Oh, is he? On the board, he thinks quickly and makes very quick moves. And Does although he, have, he always um, wins, it's not because he's you know, better than everyone else. Vibrations going on, telling him what moves what, to make. Cheat? It's because he plays such simple games of chess that every Everyone else gets bored and loses interest. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, chess match of the century right here. Unfortunately, okay. Master Chief is used to playing such simplistic games of chess. Wasn't it the most critical, like, win a chess game in, like, four him. moves? He joins, right? He joins? Jar Jar Binks takes like, the on check. Twitch. Okay, you like, win. Congratulations. Anyway. You're the new Emperor of Dugtopia. Jar Jar Binks hands Master oh. Chief the check for one trillion dollars. Okay, He's so he got promoted got and a trillion dollars. I think that's enough for his girlfriend. Oh. God damn, Jar Jar Binks has pulled through. Master Chief becoming my Emperor because Jar Jar Binks is an incredible chess player is greater than anything any human being could write. What do you guys want to do? Okay. Try is to build the toilet. Seven? You could save that for your final point. If you get to nine, that would be a pretty dope way to dunk on me. As a winner. <laughs> Blow a toilet. Up the moon with antimatter. You could assassinate Jar Jar Binks in the mega suit, I guess. Okay. Blow up Halo with antimatter bombs. They, they have these anti a new moon. <laughs> Why? Wait, so, they crash into the other you moon? You ignored the moon the entire and now you game. Don't and don't even want to go for just the... establishing a base you on the moon, one. you're considering making a new moon. Making moon two. It moon just two. Feels like there's simple Electric boogaloo. Here. Okay, you're choosing to build moon two. So, meanwhile... The Chatronomicon scientist robots on our anus decide that they're going to build <laughs> a, a new sentence. moon and call it Moon Sue. This moon new moon Zoo. will be hotter and richer than the current moon, and the Chatronomicon will build I'm it done. out of cheese, I'm... so the Chatronomicon scientists begin construction of the new moon. Build out of cheese? Back on Earth, Excuse the Dugtopian me? Emperor decides to send his best messenger to deal with the alien ship. Who's... The Dugtopian Emperor sends his most trusted General Grievous, soldier, who got cut in, General Grievous, who got cut in half by Yoda. A different General Grievous. General Grievous is the most powerful and skilled warrior in all the Dugtopian Empire. He's also a master strategist and tactician. 
station, and he is known for being very quiet and mysterious. Wait, Maybe but this is... Maybe they'll make the moon now. General Grievous arrives at the Dugtopian space but station wait, where the alien ship this is waiting. Chat's the Dugtopian turn. Emperor greets General Grievous and asks him to deliver a message to the Dugtopian Emperor. All right, you want to redirect? Uh, okay, redirecting. Five attempts. Ba but back on our anus, the Chatronomicon begins construction of Moon Sue. Yeah. And soon the new uh, moon is complete. Oh, wait, okay. That was it? That, that was, was it? They just have a new moon? robots now feel free to experiment with their new technology, and so they try out a new experiment. Creating the life on the surface, surface of the new, new moon, moon using nanobot technology. Oh. Isn't it made out of cheese? Did that work? Chatronomicon creates small animals that resemble cats, dogs, chickens, cows, rabbits, and the horses. Rabbits, and these new guy, animals what? are made from cheese. The Chatronomicon robots name the new species of animals cheese creatures. That sounds the like experiment graham crackers, cheese but creatures cheese. multiply. Soon there are millions of cheese creatures living on Moon Zoo. But the Dugtopian Emperor is concerned because never he hasn't had received cheese. a message from the aliens yet. Okay, back to the Emperor. Also never had spray this cheese. Two more. So he sends another messenger to Earth. This time the Dugtopian Emperor sends the second most trusted and loyal general, General Slith. You got two different threads going on. In mine, I'm talking to the aliens with myself or something, but you guys did successfully build Moon Sue. Yeah. It's covered with moon creatures. That now, are made out of cheese. Now, thinking that chat just earned their 10th point off of cheese yeah. creatures. But no, I'm but that's not a, that that's a point special point. They're cheese number creatures. One, they are built into the cheese moon and therefore count as part of that resource. Okay. And number two, I have been too generous giving chat points in that's the past. True. And there's they... no way I'm going to let them beat me with cheese creatures. If they're winning, they have to do it big. Now they're, they're going to go for the cheese. toilet. <laughs> With Moon Sue under your control. Oh, it's literally you just a will of cheese. One, two, three, four planets and five special resources. So they're so one away. And they're going to build a toilet on One, two, three, four anus. planets and three special resources. I'm two behind. Now that That's I have Master Chief, I'm going to go for Halo Ring. I might even get lucky and have them use Halo Ring and like destroy know, Moon, blow Zoo. Up Moon Sue or something. I can't let you guys build a victory toilet, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably the only time in my life I'll get to say that in a contextually relevant way. Yeah, this literally. This needs to be a big turn. With Master Chief, now in control of the Dugtopian Empire, he can After begin his conquest billion, of the Halo Ring. A trillion, though, not a billion. A trillion. The power to wipe life from planets, and Master Chief has always wanted to ensure that it does not fall into the wrong hands. So Master Chief flies in a space shuttle towards okay. the Halo Ring to attempt to establish ship. a base. The Chattern Empire, however, sh has discovered his plan oh, no. and is oh, falling wait, behind what? in a oh, spaceship. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's That's no way he went off the Halo Ring. The Chattern Empire decides that since God, they don't have the Halo Ring hour and they should just shoot long. down the space shuttle and kill Master Chief. No! It's but before they can fire their energy the Dugtopian fleet arrives, blasts the Chattern Empire out of space, and lands on the Halo Ring. The Chattern Empire is knocked out of space and falls into the sun. Well, the sun which, was destroyed. Which one? Which so sun? Doesn't... So they never get to use their energy cannon to destroy the Dugtopian fleet. The Dugtopians okay. land on the Halo Ring and build a base on it. They oh, realize so that the they Halo are ring. alone on the Halo Ring. Okay. Nobody else was there? That's good. Me. Most of the time when they get there, somebody's already the been there. There's the ruins. Established. That's point eight. Ooh, big play, big play. I'm like one big turn away from taking it now. Well, if I, I mean, can hold too. out one more turn from the giant toilet, I think I can actually do it. And then I could use Halo to wipe out the I think, I don't think it needs to fall. And knock your score down. Ooh, okay. Chat. What do you want to they do? They gotta go okay, for A lot the of people want to build the mega toilet. <laughs> Tell Master Chief to fuck <laughs> off. Blow up Halo Ring with antimatter bomb. No, this antimatter <laughs> bombs haven't been used at all. Like a toilet. Let's assume that I guess the mega toilet will have Death Star capabilities. We will make a giant cheese stick and use your <laughs> Halo as a cock ring. <laughs> I'm not right. That's that, out of you pocket. Guys are nine points. For your final wow. turn, you are electing to attempt to build the giant space toilet. Yeah. Well, I wonder what the percentages were. Now that the Chattern Empire has successfully built Sun Tzu, Moon Tzu, the Chatternomicon, and the cheese creatures, they are ready to begin their final task. The Chattern Empire will attempt to build that the has mega to be it. There's only a two minutes left. They that have turns to do it. All of our anus into a toilet. And so all Empress Ghost and Chatternomicon begin construction of the toilet. The Dugtopian Empire, he's here again, sends its best oh, general, okay. Princess Leia Organa. Is that like Dugtopian Princess Leia Emperor. from Star Wars? The Dugtopian Emperor is, final, is happy to finally meet the person who saved Earth from the destruction. Of what? Why the is this on Dugtopia? desperately to stop you from the toilet. I'm grateful that you helped us, says the Dugtopian Emperor. My name is Emperor Question mark. Doug. Thank you for saving Earth, Your Majesty, replies General Leia Organa. General Leia is impressed that the Dugtopian Emperor is so season, polite. But okay. So she begins her negotiations with the... Okay, this is not relevant. You're using a redirect, right? Yeah. This means you get five continues. Meanwhile, the Chattern Empire begins construction of, of the, the mega, mega toilet. toilet. This resolves, Arianus. you win. The mega toilet is larger than anything so else they in built the it. solar so system. They it is Wait, 10 what? times more pipes than any 10 other times more in pipes? History. And it has 3 million flushing valves, each one capable of producing 50 gallons 
That's not that much for that size. Do it. For it three million. The Chattered Empire plans to use the mega toilet to turn all of our anus into a toilet. What? And so the Chattered Empire starts construction. Well, starts, of the but mega I thought. Oh, that was the plan. Moon, moon Sue. Wait, hold on. It's just the blueprints. So yeah, it's just the blueprints. The construction is beginning right now. The Chattered Empire finishes construction on the oh, mega well, toilet. Oh, there we go. Which turns out to be exactly the same. <laughs> it's as wow. Our anus. The Chattered so Empire is so it. proud of they work and they celebrate by eating Moon Sue. Wait, so that means they lose uh, Moon? Sue. And thus, with their tenth and final point, well, I mean, they got ten. The they ate one. On yet another glorious victory for the great empire of Chad. How does it always and work out for Chad? Once again, the empire of Dugtopia was in shambles, despite me really trying to win this time. Yeah. And so, does Dugtopia he do it again? Schemed, and they sent out their top ambassador for revenge. Jar Jar. And then Jar Jar Binks showed up. Wait, and he took gets a no giant <laughs> shit in the mega toilet. <laughs> And broke Jar Jar it. Binks uses the mega toilet to cover the entire moon in a giant pile of shit. The Shattered Empire sees what Jar Jar Binks has done to the moon realize. and they immediately realize they cannot use the toilet to clean Why themselves. You, clean you, might, you might have won, but at least I ruined your precious toilet, chat. Jar Jar wins! Jar Jar Great wins. Job, Jar Jar Binks. What You're is the next thing going to be? Star How do you get go from space? Oh, wow. We're just ending that abrupt. Okay, this was a long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's actually weird to not have him in my ears for once, but this is the last video I'm recording for today. It is the eighth video. It's been a very, very long day. I've been awake for many, many hours. I still have to edit three videos, make two thumbnails on it, and read a couple hundred comments. Actually, let me just, let me just check how many comments of videos I have to read through tonight as of right now. Um, I'll just 200 and... No, 215. Uh, that's as of right now. I'm sure it's going to be more. But like I said, I read all your comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very, very tired. It is 12.29 a.m. And both my windows are open. And it is cold outside. But it is very hot. I'm literally drenched in sweats. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you watch this thing all the way through, you're you're just a legend. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I hope it made today a little better. Original videos give me a link down below in the description if you want to watch it without my commentary and me just being completely confused. But me and Doug had very similar reactions to just what in the world is going on. But be on the lookout for other Doug Doug videos coming out next Friday. Uh, patrons get them a day early and allow me to have a paywall on the channel. Completely against paywalls. I'm here to make you smile, not make you pay. And uh, this is actually weird to record a video. I honestly feel like my voice is, I'm losing my voice. Is this even my voice anymore? I don't know. I've been hearing Doug talk for the last hour. It's absolutely insane. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. But until next video, take care and cue the music. We were